You know, the Mary Anthony arrived in New York in the 1940s at a time when there was an extraordinary fluidity in dance. And uh, so that dancers in New York at that time, there was not, it was not all separate camps. They were not the modern dancers, the ballet dancers. You know, the Broadway dancers, people moved from one to another. So Mary not only danced uh, for uh, the modern dance company at Pony Hall, she also danced on Broadway. Uh, she, uh, she, she was also part of the, of the New York City Opera Ballet. So that she describes in uh, often, you know, her day of uh, teaching a modern dance class at, at, the, uh, at, the Han, at the Hanya Home Studio, then uh, rushing out to, uh, you know, to uh, appear in the City Center Theater to dance in the, in the ballet for Aida, and an intermission going out doing a class, and then coming back in for the, for the, final, for the final portion of that. <laughs> And so, the, as a result of that, you know, dancers became enormously versatile. You know, they danced for each other. They danced for all, for, um, um, uh, and they they became fluid in an enormous number of styles. So, as a result of that, you know, uh, Mary Anthony was, um, you know, was instrumental as a as a dancer in several Broadway shows. Uh, she was in a show called Touch and Go. I believe that was the name of it. And uh, unfortunately, again, and had an injury. It took her out for a while, but she thought that was a terrible misfortune for her career. But as a result of that, uh, she was chosen to go to London for the, uh, to, to, uh, to supervise and direct the, the choreography and the, the dancing in the London production of Touch and Go. Mm -hmm. So she got a chance to go and live in London for, for six months, you know, down the street from T.S. Eliot. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had, um, she describes at one point, at one point or another, uh, that she was met after a performance by uh, a small group of little men from Italy mm -hmm. who, uh, who uh, came and invited her to come and do what she was doing in, in London, in Italy. In Italy, and, I said, uh, and so as a result of that, Mary moved from after the Touch and Go production was done, I moved to Italy and was instrumental in introducing modern dance to Italy. So that she brought, uh, she choreographed for, for film, for television, you know, for, and for, for popular performances and that. She made so much, enough money in working in Italy so that she was able to come back to New York to found her studio and her own dance company in 1956. And that's uh, that's how the uh, that's how she got her start. Wow! And uh, and uh, she had she had been on her own enough times and out of away from you know the, the her teacher's influence to be able to get her own ideas about modern dance and to be able to, to be able to create her own studio. So she moved to a studio that was on Fourth Avenue in uh, uh, in the the East Village, which uh, was was. Um, where she taught for a period of about 15, almost 15, I think 15 years, oh. until they, uh, the people that owned the building finally sold the building and uh, had to move out and move to the studio, moved to the studio where Pam and I started with Mary on, on Waverly, on Broadway and Waverly Place, you know, in, in, in Greenwich Village. It was right on the borderline between the inhabited village and the Wild West of the village. And, and so it was, uh, so the studio always functioned as a kind of, you know, this was right on the outer edge. So that we were the, it was the leading edge of dancing in New York at that particular time. One other thing that I thought you'd love to see is, uh, because it was very central to, te to Mary's teaching, is the image that she always came back to of Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. And, uh, she used that as a way of saying that, uh, first of all, is that, is that man is the center of, you know, the center of all things. You know, she also, you know, Vitruvian man was also the, uh, the image that we always used in teaching is that this, this is where your body wants to be. This is when it's open, it's fully expanded, it's radiating out from its center so that everything that happens to pull in, you know, to the, from the, to the center 
releases out into that shape. So this is our, our fully realized form, you know, as a, as a physical being. And that we are always, and that as dancers, we're always reaching for that sense of everything radiating out and expanding from the, from the center. So that, um, then that's what gives, you know, things like the modern dance contraction and the movement that we have so much power is that we're pulling everything in and then releasing it back out. And that that's, that's one of the things that gives you uh, the, 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 uh, the impetus behind dancing. And I, I do want to emphasize that, that what Pam and I are doing here uh, is uh, like a, one of the wonderful characteristics of the way uh, Mary worked as a teacher is that uh, it was continually evolving so she was a creative teacher that didn't just come in and run the, run the movement over and over and over again. It's that she was continually exploring, adding into, changing, adjusting and adapting things to express whatever it is that she wants to do. So that what we are hoping to record is, is our personal recollections of, of Mary's work. And Mary is a teacher uh, that it's going to, there are going to be a million people that all study with Mary and says, we didn't do it that way. You know, we're, uh, we did it differently in my time. And uh, that's quite true. It is, uh, is that uh, our, you know, all of our, you know, it is our recollection and our tribute to the teacher that we had and that formed us and shaped us. Uh, and it is, uh, we're hoping that it will become part of a, of a canon of larger recollections of people that say, oh, these are all of the things, the other things that we got from this extraordinary person. So I'm, uh, I'm, I hope that this will, you know, excite uh, uh, people to say, no, do it this way, mm -hmm. do it this way. You know, this is what we got out of it, or this is what I got out of it. Because that was very much one of the things that Mary wanted to do, was to give us things that were the starting point for what we, for what we created. It wasn't the end point. It was, this is where we started from, and where she took it, where we took it, was up to us. And there she gave, she had that sense of generosity as a teacher about something, is to, she gave you the movement, and she let you, and she set you free with it.